Hi, this is Judy Warner with Real Time with IPC. Today I'm lucky to be with Kun Hollywood. Hey. Did I get it right? You get it right, yeah. Okay, or close enough, Very right? Good. Kun is from Belgium and um, Rogers has a headquarters there in Europe. So he's here to talk about a, a new, really dynamic product is the XT Duroids, correct? Correct. Yes. So um, can you tell us a little bit, is th this is just rolling out now or has it been on the market for a while? Like fill us in on that. Yeah, th we launched actually in 2010, we started initially, but since it's a very um, new ma material, we had to actually also develop it and then make it fit for the market. Right. Uh, because it's based on peak and uh, peak is a thermoplastic material very different from other uh, PCB materials, but it makes it uh, very easy to process. Uh, but the advantage of PEAK is that it has a very high melting point and it's also chemical resistance and makes it also uh, radiation resistant. Oh, so that's good both for the marketplace and the board manufacturer, I take it, right? Yes, correct, yeah. So can you tell us the applications that would be most suited to the PEAK and the, and the Duroid? Yeah, PEAK is already known in the market of avionics and oil and gas as a okay. replacement for metal. Uh, but since we can make now printed circuit boards out of it, it helps us to make a print, we can now make printed circuit boards that can resist to extreme temperatures, extreme low, like cryogenic applications, but also temperatures above 200 degrees C or uh, 400 uh, F. Wow. Um, that's on the temperature side. We can also make uh, printed circuit boards that are now resistant to uh, very harsh chemicals, corrosive chemicals, and even for uh, electronics that are exposed to radiation, uh, X-ray or gamma ray, uh, this material is quite suitable. Then, er, besides the avionics applications, um, maybe automotive, how is space? How is space? Uh, because of there is also yeah, a challenge with uh, extreme temperatures right. in the sun, out of the sun, and radiation. Uh, but also there is oil and gas is a market because especially in the oil and gas market people are digging deeper and deeper for oil and gas I see and now the temperatures are raising and they see that the materials uh, that they're using today are not really suitable anymore they're really at the edge of right. capability wonderful so you're here I, I think at Apex right at showing yes. well do you have samples in the booth here at, um, or are you just discussing it with customers we mainly discuss it with customers we have some samples to, to show to customers because one of the interesting features also, we can make it very thin, like from two mil, with or without woven glass, uh, depending on the application. But we can make it actually from there flexible all the way thick to 20 or more mil thick. Wow. And make it even rigid. So you can basically use it as a rigid or as well as a, as a flexible surface. Wow, that's, a, that's a interesting where you could go both ways. That's very unique, right? So tell us a little bit about the, um, besides the copper thickness, the types of copper that's available. Yeah. Well, typically, if you want to use in harsh environments, we are looking for materials that are very robust for a robust circuit. And there we use ED copper. But if we go to uh, high frequency applications, then we use smooth, smoother coppers mm -hmm. like reverse treated or even rolled copper, mm -hmm. especially also when you need ductility for the bending. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, uh, for high frequency, as Rogers is known for, yes. this is a material with the lowest TC decay. So it stays very, very stable over temperature. The decay in the, in the insertion will stay very stable over wow. temperature. Um, I know a lot of RF engineers will be glad to hear yeah. about that, right? But uh, actually, we can also do aluminium and uh, nickel. We did some experiments, and that takes us to a whole new world outside the circuit material. So Wonderful. there also we are developing new markets. Wonderful. That sounds really great. So um, where before I wrap here, I wanted to mention something to the audience to make sure to get more information on the Rogers website. They have the Technology Support Hub, which is free to sign up for, and it has incredible resources there. So I encourage you to go there. You can also visit the Rogers website. And um, inside the Technology Hub and online, you'll also find technical talks by John Coonrod on a feature called Coonrod's Corner. I'm assuming that they've already put up technical data or, or will soon do that for the XT door rids on the Tech Support Hub. Correct, there is also, uh, yeah, also you can find more information on our website, uh, rogerscorp.com, uh, and in the Technology Hub, yes, correct. Well, thank you so much, Kuhn, for doing this talk with me. I'm sure the market will be delighted to hear about these things. I know a few engineers that will be glad to hear about <laughs> okay. this. And thank you for visiting us from Belgium. It's been a delight to meet you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Again, this is Judy Warner with Real Time with IPC with Kuhn Hollywood from Rogers Corporation.